Double Mangekyo Sharingan Kakashi with his Sasano behind his head. So I'm in the landscape page, pencil eraser, and hit pause if I go too fast. So we go over here, we start with his eyes, Kakashi's on the right. So we just go diagonal first, small little diagonal line, and then we will bring a line across here. Like so. Right, so we got this sort of little sort of letter Y sort of thing going on here, and then a curve line across the top. And in Naruto, we have this hook that comes down the back there, and then our line comes across the bottom. Right? So that's general sort of shape, right? So you want to just thicken up the top eyelid a little bit, right? You just want to add just a little bit of heaviness to the line. Just make it a bit darker, a bit thicker, and just on the hook back here as well. Okay, just sort of darkens it up a bit, makes it stand out a little bit more. Right, so then in there we got his Sharingan eye, so we've got the iris half circle coming down from the top eyelid. Right, and then we got the details inside, right? So it's a little bit complicated to do his manga kyo, but we'll go for it. If you're doing it with a sharp pencil, it'd be a lot easier. So we go circle. Like that, just in the middle. And then we got these spikes, right? So you go down to here and they touch the outside of the eye and then kind of hook back up, right? Hook up this way. And then you thicken up the sort of edge of them here. And so there's these little spikes on them. Right? And then the next one will go up underneath his eye here. And then this one will come down from underneath his eye this way, right? And you just sort of darken it up here. All right. So then we have his eyelid line. Just here above his eye. And then his eyebrow just a tick going back this way, right? So we got like just about there. Starts there and then it ticks up. and gets thinner as it goes back, right? So you want to add a little bit of a section where you can color and then add a bit of gray or that inside when you're coloring. Of course, you got a scar on this side of his eye. So we have the spike coming down. Like so, and then up this way. It bumps over his eyelid and then his eyebrow and goes up here somewhere, probably underneath his hair. <clears throat> so that's one eye, we'll do the other eye. So how far across do you go? About eye width, right? So the width of his eye fits in between both of his eyes. So you wanna start it about there. So this will fit just in here, right? That's the proportion of human eyes. And Naruto keeps a standard human proportion. Not all animes do that. So, yeah, good thing to know. So you go diagonal again, and then you bring it across. Hook it down. And then go across underneath to there. And again, we will thicken up the spike on the edge and the top eyelid, just add a little bit of weight to it. Right, like so. Then, iris, pupil, half circle, there and then pupil in the middle same sort of thing again just do circle get it as centers as you can 
just touching his top eyelid. And then we do the Sharingan spikes again. One going up that way, the other one there, and the other one will come down like this one. And then we thicken up these parts. Right, so eyelid line, again, same sort of thing. Just coming across the top here, and then the eyebrow, sort of a tick line. Going that way, and add a little bit of a gray color area that you can color in. Right, so then just underneath these eyes, we have his mask, right? So it kind of like curves around his cheek, up across his nose, down. There's a slice here, and then into there. Then we got a line just for his nose here. And then we go down, add his chin, and then join the mask to the chin. So roughly the chin is about like from the eyes. So say like his nose would be about here. So this eyebrows to say where the, where his nose would be, bottom of his nose would be the same as nose to chin. So you want like this, where his nose, uh, you have to imagine because it's not drawn in. So this is halfway between like eyebrow here to chin. So this whole space, you want halfway to be about there. Okay, and then you can do his jaw go down towards his chin, same on this side. Right, like so. Now we can see a little bit more of his face just coming up the side. Like that. And then we have his fringe, so hair spikes, right, that come across, and they kind of cover his ears, so we'll draw the hair first, and then we'll do the ears, right, so. Hair spikes all coming across his face. Any parts that you draw over, of course, you can erase or just color over them. Like another one here. As we can see his ear actually coming out from this space, right? The top of the ears kind of line up with the eyebrows, bottom line up with the top of his mask here. The position of ears always changes depending on the position of the character's head. There's another hair spike here and the ear is around there. And then we have ear lines inside. So the easiest way is a letter J, right? that line's just coming down you can make it more complicated if you wanted by adding just like extra ones but that's his face pretty much of course scratches you know if he's been battling and just these textures sort of make his face look a little bit dirty and just kind of more interesting i, th I think and then we can go rest of his hair spikes all the way around his head. And like in general rule for like the head is like you go up like this whole space again, right? So in anime, it's not exactly exact, but like in here, this whole space will go up like up there anyway, right? So we'll go say our last sort of hair spike be there so right standard humor proportion is the eyes this space is about halfway down from the skull say the the head without hair this is about halfway down between the top of the skull and the chin right that's general proportion sort of rule for human heads
right? So his hair tends to go this way and then smaller spikes that go up on this side. And then we just bring this down. Like so. Let's go. So more hair. Down beside his face, right? It's coming out from behind his ears, these spikes. Just hanging down like that, right? And he's kind of like hunched over, right? So his shoulders are quite high up. Shoulders would normally be like, say, you'd have neck and then shoulders going this way. But he's kind of hunched over, right? So his, his collar of his uniform goes like there, right? And then the inside of it will go down like this. So lots of different ways to draw this. It's kind of simply drawn in the image I'm drawing from. I'd say it's a fan art, it's not official. Full credit to whoever drew this. So we'll just make it like nice and easy. And we just go like that. Right. And then in here we got some like anatomy. So we got like neck muscles kind of like coming down here. Like it's all just dark in here. So his neck should, like his trapezius will go that way. So it's just colored dark really, so you can't really see much. Collarbones always go towards the shoulders. Out from the middle of the chest. And he's got these buttons. And just shoulder on this side. Comes down like that. And in general, if you're wondering how far out the shoulder goes, it's the width of his face, right? Okay, so like, not his ears, that will bring you a bit too far, but like his face, right, about there. Male characters, shoulders are three head widths across, females are about two and a half. That's just a general rule, sometimes they can be different, but on average. It might be like another sort of neck muscle somewhere, inside here maybe a little bit. Right, Susano, that's Kakashi. So the Susano is just over here. So we're going to start with that diamond that's in the middle of his head, right? Easy place to start. Arrow pointing up. And it goes in. Remember, if I'm going too fast, just pause the video. And then. This comes across here. And then this goes up. Down. Like that. And then we go up for the horns on the side. Right up there. Bring it down across. Right, we don't go the whole way. There's like a little chunk taken out of it here in the middle. And then we go across the other side. Okay, and of course, representing Kakashi, he's got his scar there. So his nose just comes out from the middle. We got these two little lines like that. And then his nostrils either side. And then he's got this long pointy nose, kind of a witch's nose down to there. Eyes then, just in underneath. And we just got these kind of red circles. And under there, they got like an edge line or something around them. So it's like a samurai mask, one of those classic masks, right? So it's got a couple of sections. So the cheeks come in like that. And then this goes down like so, across to there. And then this comes down like so. And then the jaw will go down curving down this way 
comes across there's a little bit of a gap or something down here so it goes up across down across and then it's got like these edge lines a little spike in the middle more details inside like a gap in his mask here so it's all like black inside there Then this comes down this way, like the scar again. It's like the scar continues further. And then it's got an edge line, just following that shape of his mouth again. Then we have long hair, right? So long hair spikes going down this way. And then these go up to this fire-like hair of his, right? So you're just waving hair spikes. And it'll go off my page. A few more room. Feel free to draw sort of more of that in if you want. And it just goes off the page there. And you can put some texture lines inside. Right, roughly like that. Then we just have his shoulders and his clothing, right? So he's hunched over as well, kind of like Kakashi, right? So we've got like his kimono sort of thing. Going down this way, the inside line, and it kind of like crisscrosses. And then we got his chest here. With like some chest muscles. Like so, and then the neck. And then the side of his kimono on this side. So these are all just like fold lines of his clothing. And then the shoulders kind of go off this way. And then you'll have kind of like armpit lines and stuff. Here. Shoulders go off that way. Lots of fold lines. And he has big shoulder pads, but you can't really... They're like behind Kakashi's head. So they're like wings and shoulder pads and stuff. So like, kind of goes off that way. If you have more room, you could fit in a big wing if you wanted. It's like a shoulder pad here. So how far does that go? It'll go to like there and then come down. Like here maybe. Goes out the inside. And then his wing goes up this way. Right, and then, so the wing just has like these um, sort of like paper sort of lines. Kind of like that. Right, but that's it. That's DMS Kakashi with his Susano. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Like, subscribe, share, etc. I never say that, but there you go. <laughs> Bye.